Hi A2Z movie recapped here. Today I'm going to explain a Russian sports comedy film. Called I am losing weight. Then what's the delay? Let's begin. The film begins in the Russian city of Nizhny Novgorod. Anya is a 20-year-old woman. Genya, her bodybuilder and swimming coach boyfriend, is her roommate. She works at a bakery and is constantly surrounded by food. Moment the couple met for the first time. She wore a size zero dress. However over a period of months, she has acquired a significant amount of weight. One of these days they've been invited to a wedding of a friend. Anya tries on a couple months worth of clothes and learns that they no longer fit. She calms herself by claiming that no one would notice, but the physical change is considerable. Genya is also aware of this. He, on the other hand, refuses to say how much weight she has gained. Understanding that it is a sensitive topic for her. After trying on a few dresses and ripping a few of them, Anya locates a suitable candidate and prepares himself. Junya's face drops in surprise as he sees her in the clothing. She is no longer the girl with whom he was previously involved. He doesn't want to be photographed with her at the wedding because all of his fitness industry friends will be present. To his relief, he provides her subtle signals in the hopes that she will stay at home. Anya expresses her desire to stay at home and order pizza. She implores him to remain with her. Genya, on the other hand, has promised to congratulate the newlyweds. And you'll be back at your house in no time. Prior to departing by dodges, he picks her up and places her on the counter. When she makes an attempt to kiss him Anya notices the gesture but keeps her emotions hidden. She changes into more comfortable clothing after he leaves and weighs herself to find that she weighs 76 kilograms. Her lone resolution is to drink a glass of water despite her constant complaints about gaining weight. After seeing her affirmations on a daily basis she continues to prepare fried foods. While waiting for her boyfriend, she browses the internet. While she is on the phone, she notices pictures of Genya and his friends at the wedding. She zooms into a group picture and is troubled to see that the girls Genya hangs out with are skinny and fit. She cannot help but compare herself to them. Then she comes across a picture of Genya and a girl on checking her profile she is horrified to see a boomerang of the girl kissing him on the cheek. The video is enough for Anya to get dressed put on some makeup. And rushed to the wedding. She calls her best friend Natasha to pick her up. Natasha also notices that, she has gained weight but to her, Anya still looks just as beautiful. She holds her face telling her to be confident about her body. When Anya reaches the venue. She sees Genya dancing with the girl and getting a bit too close. Jealousy gets the best of her. And she gets in between them. Genya is visibly surprised but he continues dancing. As the other girl scoffs and walks away. A while later the couple takes a seat and Anya starts eating she asks him why he was dancing with a girl. Genya, on the other hand, is attempting to pass it off. By implying that they were dancing as part of a group. When Anya pushes him, he becomes irritated. He lashes out and confesses that he no longer likes her. He goes on to say that she does nothing but eat and has become a burden to him. Anya begins to cry, but the newlywed couple approaches them before they can speak. They make an attempt to smile, but it evaporates. When the bride inquired whether Anya s he is expecting a child. After that, Genya wishes her farewell and departs. Anya is on her way to her mother's house on a bus in the next scene. She's sobbing uncontrollably like if she doesn't care. What other people think about her she comes in on her mother having a conversation with a date. He notices something isn't quite right and goes outside to give them some space. Anya informs her mum that she and her boyfriend have broken up. Owing to her weight her mother observes that she is not overweight. She simply has a set of broad bones that she is unable to manage. The remark makes her feel much worse than she did the night before. She spends the night on her mother's couch. While looking at Junya's photos on her phone she also discovers a photo of herself taken a few months ago. She zooms in on her body and is saddened by how much damage she has. The next morning, she had transformed. She receives a phone call from Natasha. Who invites her to visit on Natasha's balcony, Anya takes a bed. And declares they're expressing their dissatisfaction with the breakup. It turned out that Genya had arrived the night before to drop off all of her possessions. Natasha invites her to accompany her. After a few days, and her husband Demas until she can find a place of her own. 
She attempts to console her friend, but Anya refuses to feel better. She only wants to pout and whine about her jerk of an ex-boyfriend. Who she wants to rekindle her relationship with even Demas makes an effort to cheer her up. Asserting that she may be the hottest girl in town, but it doesn't help Anya. Natasha approaches her as she spends the night on the balcony. The next morning, Natasha tells her the story about a friend. Who was in the same position as Anya her boyfriend broke up with her overtaxed. Because she had gained weight instead of bitching and moaning like Anya. The girl went to the gym and got slim in only a month. The poor boyfriend regretted his decision so much. That he felt her office with flowers to ask her to get back with him. When Anya complains that she can't afford to join a gym since she doesn't have enough money. Natasha recommends taking use of the one-week free trial in all of the town's gyms to complete it for free. Anya says her morning affirmations the next day. He takes a drink of water for the first time in her life, she visits the gym. She takes some time to get used to the machine and falls off the treadmill multiple times. But all of her hard work goes to waste. Because an hour later, she is at a restaurant eating for two. Natasha who works in the restaurant throws her food away disappointed that she couldn't commit for more than two hours. She asks her friend to show some willpower on returning home. Anya applies moisturizer all over her body and wraps it with plastic wrap. She hopes that the triquamil will make her lose a few pounds. While devouring a bag of chips at midnight she tries to steal food from the refrigerator. But is caught by Natasha. The next day she is determined to not eat anything unhealthy. This is especially difficult for her because she works in a bakery. While decorating a cake, she accidentally lexicing off her fingers and does tense squad to make up for it throughout the day food calls her name by she controls herself at one point. She's left on her alone with a whole cake. She stares at it for a few minutes, trying to think of a reason not to eat it. After pacing and nearly breaking a bone, she gives up and eats half of the cake in one sitting. Anya realizes she is having a problem. She seeks out a self-help group for those suffering from an eating disorder. In the midst of this, he attends a meeting. A solitary male leads the bunch of ladies. Kolia is the name of the character. Anya introduces herself as Angela and claims she is not suffering from an eating condition. Instead, she introduces herself as a journalist working on an article about eating disorders. The group tries to make sense of their situation, infuriated and unwilling to recognize that they have a problem. Kolia points at each of them and calls them all fat including himself. He also says that it is obvious Anya lied about being a journalist. Because she doesn't want to accept that. She has a problem Anya pretends to get a phone call and leaves the meeting. But Kolia follows her. He invites to a nearby restaurant and Anya goes only because she cannot say no to food. Kolia proposes they become each other's fitness sponsors. That way they have to exercise with each other daily. Ask each other before eating anything and provide emotional support throughout the process. Anya is unsure about Kolia's true intentions but. She sees no harm in trying starting the next day. They go to a park every morning to run at first. Anya is hesitant to be with Kolia at first, but as time passes, she becomes more comfortable. He turns out to be a nice person, she realizes. He is unafraid of his body, which she finds strange when she spends time with him helps her fall in love with her body they also converse before each meal. They're terrific at assisting each other because they're dealing with the same issue. Soon Anya starts to lose weight little by little her confidence wavers. When she goes to pool parties and sees skinny girls looking gorgeous. Whenever she feels frustrated Kolia helps her they frequently scream at the top of their lawns to relieve stress. Anya wants nothing but Genya validation. Which makes Kolia jealous in one and a half months. She drops down to 10 kilos and is ready to meet Zhenya again. She buys a swimsuit and pretends to bump into him at a swimming pool. He works as an instructor and is stunned Daisier after chatting for a while they get into the pool. And start splashing water at each other. Everything goes well until the girl from the wedding arrives. And introduces herself as Zhenya girlfriend Anya is heartbroken for the second time. She spends the entire night partying and drinking to forget about him. She wakes up naked in Kolya's bed the next morning. He tells her that he did not see her naked, but a flashback from the night before reveals us that he did. He was ready to go home with a stranger when Kolya arrived just in time and saved her with a punch to the face. She goes to her mother's house after the odd morning. 
and tells her all her mother has told her. Anya's father has left her with unresolved trauma. Who abandoned them when she was a child she craves Junya's approval, despite the fact that he is unkind to her. Anya realizes what she's talking about and rushes to see her father. She hires Kolia as her driver the next day. Because the driver's five hours long on their way. Kolia often tries to get closer to her showing that he likes her but Anya is oblivious to his advances. They finally meet her father Sergei in a wooden house where he lives with a woman. Anya asks him why he didn't want to be involved in her life Sergei. On the other hand, reminds her of the time he came to her birthday with the present but she flipped him off through the window. At night, Anya accidentally drops a candle and the lights the wooden house on fire Sergei yells at her for ruining his house not caring about her safety. Anya and Kolia return home immediately after before separating. She kisses him on the nose. Kolia is on top of the world on his right home. He even sells his watch to buy her flowers. Somewhere else Anya is approached by Zhenya, who apologizes to her. After a period of talking, they end up making love. When Kolia brings the flowers back. When he sees them, he is disappointed and walks away. Anya wakes up the next morning with Zhenya, who compliments her on how much better she looks than she did a month before. Anya realizes that she doesn't want an uncertain relationship. Where she is always scared her partner will leave her. They get into an argument yet again and Zhenya walks away. That evening, she goes to Kolya's house wanting to be with a friend. But Kolya is so furious that he gives her an apple and declares that their relationship is sponsorship and it. She's lost a lot of weight now. The following morning when she arrives to Natasha's residence, no one answers the door. She enters the house precariously through a neighbor's window and a pipeline. Natasha and her spouse had a tremendous fight, it turns out. After that, he chuckled, and the girls began to converse to each other, making them feel much better. Sergei arrives the next day to meet Anya. Once again, apologizing for being a bad father he also dances with her, just like he did when she was younger. Anya goes to a fitness marathon to meet Kolya after they reconcile. She discovers him drinking a cold beverage and throws it away, demonstrating her authority as his sponsor. She also argues that it is her job to assist him because he has not lost enough weight. Whatever the case may be, they run the marathon and finish it with all their might. Kolya musters the guts to kiss her for the first time ever. Anya understands that worrying over her attractiveness will not bring her happiness. Accepting yourself as you are is where true happiness lies. Kolia is no longer alive. He was continually striving to better his half. His appearance was never a source of embarrassment for him. Anya want to be just like him. Thank you for watching.